This is the third video in my pool table series and in the last video we left off still working on these two cups and we're actually going to be spending a bit of time on these two because really they're kind of the key to the whole table. So we'll carry on with that. I'm going to go into faces mode first off and complete the bottom face of the railing. So I'll add a face there. And I'll select the top two lines in that, and I'm going to subdivide it. I'm going to subdivide it in order to have more wood and a little less railing. That's going to create a couple of unwanted faces in the side of the rail. So we'll go into faces mode, and we can consolidate those. So we'll just select those. and use Alt-J to join those to one face. Then go back into Edges mode. We'll select the top edges here and fill that in. Then I think we'll go into Vertices mode and look at the making the little protectors at the top of the pockets. So I'll look at that from a side view using the number pad 3 key. Deselect all and select the top of both of the cups. So I'll select all those. Extrude them on the edges, drop them where they're at, and then pull them up by just a little bit. And that should do. Then I'll deselect those and work on one cup at a time because the corner and the side cup are quite a bit different. So we'll look at that from a top view. We're going to extrude that again. So I'll extrude this, I'll extrude region, and pull it back a ways. And the protector on the side pocket isn't that big, so we don't want to pull it too too much because that will affect the overall size of our table very much so. So we're just going to pull that back a ways and leave that alone for now. And one thing I'm not going to do on video, but I'll mention will need to be done, is along the top edge of this pocket where we extruded here, there's no faces, and faces need to be added to this area. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six faces that need to be added in there, and the same will apply to the corner pocket. So we'll go to the corner pocket now and do it. Deselect all, box select the top of the corner pocket, and look at it from the top view. Extrude that region and pull it back a ways. And because of the nature of our selection, um, the extrusion is actually going to give a favorable angle, the pink line. So we can just work with that. And again, this is just an eyeballed out kind of thing. Um, having an idea for what you want it to look like is a good idea. And dropping this. Uh, shy of what you want it to look like is also a good idea because scaling this uh, protector along Z will open up the angles and make it look more appropriate. So we're going to scale it a little bit along Z or limiting the Z axis so that it doesn't become fatter. And from this point like I said, there's six faces here that need to be filled in on the inside of this pocket. And now we can fill in some other faces. I'll start at the start of the belt, or the rail I should say, and go up to the corners of this pocket protector and build a triangle face here. and. When I attach materials, this will be part of the pocket material. 
then we'll come over to the other side and build the same face and this face will probably need a little bit of manipulating to make it look proper. So I'll fill in a face here and we'll just have a look at that and see. And what we want to do is get it to look more like this side of the pocket so that they kind of mirror each other in a way. So in order to do that, I'll deselect all and look at it from a top view. <clears throat> and I'll pick the two vertices in that protector that are the first two vertices in the protector area. And I'll try to show that a little more clearly. It's easier seen on this side, really. So we have four vertices selected here. And what we'll do with those is simply scale them. And again, we need to limit Z because we don't want it to get fatter. So we'll scale S, shift Z to limit to the Z axis. And just pull those out a little bit until that face the triangular face looks a little more proper and looks a little bit more like that one and how perfect to do it isn't excessively important. The next thing to do would be to straighten out the appearance of the rail a little bit because it's a little bit crooked. So how we'll do that is we'll grab the top vertices by the side pocket extrude it, drop it where it's at, oops, made a mistake there, <clears throat> so we'll extrude that vertices, drop it where it's at, and then pull it up through the other pocket, and that'll be another measuring line, I'll just grab the one that's out of whack here and pull it over to line up with that line and this one it's really just for appearances so it doesn't need to look perfect but I find that there is a need to pull it in both directions to somewhat square it up so that the face of this pocket looks proper and that should be good enough so I'll erase that measuring line and get that out of there Now we'll build a face for the start of the wood. So we'll go from the bottom corner of that protector over to this corner of the railing on both sides and build a face there. And that looks all right. I'm going to glance at my time here and see how much I have left. I've only got about a minute left and geez I don't think that's enough to really carry on with very much. So in the next video we'll carry on developing this pocket and or these two pockets and hopefully be able to get that done in the next video and after that there's really a lot of scaling and mirroring and some really easy stuff to get the whole thing put together into a table so that's what's coming up and until then happy modeling